In March of 2019, I was preparing to go on vacation with my husband and some of our friends. And it was the day before we were leaving. So I was packing and excited and getting ready for that. And I got into the shower and I felt a lump. And it seemed like it came on overnight. I had never felt anything like that before, but it was very noticeable. So I, I did want to get it checked out right away, and I did. I got in that day to my OB, and she reassured me that a lot of these lumps are benign and not to worry too much about it. But she did schedule me for a mammogram and radiology following my vacation. They took a look at some scans and they did some things. And then the words that will forever stick with me were spoken. And those words were, is there anyone here with you today? And that was a Tuesday that I had my mammogram done. On Wednesday, I was already in to have my biopsies done. And two days later, Friday, I had the results from the biopsy. It was uh, um, the morning after we returned from um, a four-day trip to Mexico. I will never forget the phone call I got that very next morning, not even being home for 12 hours and just couldn't even speak. Um, I knew she was going in for an appointment. Um, never once in my mind did I ever believe that it was going to be cancer. The very next week, we were able to meet with a team of doctors at Sanford, um, which consisted of Dr. Jesse Dirksen and our oncology team as well, Dr. Kuzman, and then also the radiology team. There are so many facets to breast cancer, and we just didn't know what to do or what to say, and even questions that we didn't know that we would have. The Sanford team really answered everything for us. They took their time with us. We were able to really do a lot of research with them and ask a lot of questions. When I see patients for the first time, um, I spend about an hour with them. And uh, my goal is to try and put their anxiety and fears at ease. And I want to give them hope I want to let them know that this is very doable. And also I want to educate the patients. I think a lot of fear and anxiety comes from the unknown. And a lot of patients don't know what breast cancer is, what it means, what are my treatments going to be. And um, the nurse navigator and I really try to spend that time explaining what your biopsy showed, this is what your mammogram showed, this is the type of breast cancer you have, um, this is different ways we can treat this. After we met with our doctors, they came up with a pretty aggressive treatment plan. And that was because the bone scans and the imaging that was done early on told us that this was in fact a curable cancer. So it didn't matter how aggressive the treatment plan was or how hard the chemotherapy would be. We were just so excited that I would be cured and that I would live. You know, everything that goes on with our three boys, she's in the center of all of it and, and making sure we all move together in the right direction and getting to the places we need to be. Jess is not just a name on a chart. She's a friend of mine from college. Her husband is a friend of mine. They're great people. They're a great family. They're great parents. She's a mother of three sons who like to play baseball. and. That's what brings me to work every day. And that's what these patients deserve. They deserve a team that cares about them as a person also. When this all started, I was scared of the future. But my path at Edith Sanford has really brought back my excitement for the future. I am excited to grow old with my husband. I'm excited to see my kids grow up. I'm excited to be a grandmother someday. I can't wait to take more vacations with my family and vacations with our friends again. Um, I can't wait to have this all behind me. You realize very quickly you can't sweat the small stuff. Um, you know, all the little things that you worry about before this really don't even and matter once you get news dealt to you like this. And, um, 
your faith skyrockets. I mean, it's you, you turn to God and, and realize that He's in control and you're gonna, you know, take the path that He's led you on. And a quote I keep coming back to um, is if He leads you to it, He's gonna lead you through it. I was given the option to travel to receive my treatment, and I chose to stay at Sanford, not just because it was local, but because I was getting the best care there. One of the uh, amazing things about Edith Sanford is that we provide everything from diagnosis all the way through survivorship. There's only five fellowship trained breast radiologists in the whole region, and they're all at Sanford in Sioux Falls. Basically, there's no service that a breast cancer patient needs that we do not offer here at Edith Sanford. Not every breast cancer is the same, and that requires a team. Every Monday afternoon, every discipline, we get together in a room, and we have what's called a tumor board or a breast conference, and we have all the subspecialties there. Surgery, medical oncology, radiation oncology, radiology, pathology. We have genetic uh, counselors, we have plastic surgeons, and we talk about all the new breast cancer patients for the week. We review their imaging, we review their biopsy reports, and then everybody gives their input, and then we come up with a plan. And not only uh, do we do that, but we also look at any poten potential clinical trials that might be available for the patient down the road also. I'm not sure that there are words I could give my care team because thank you isn't enough. Thank you seems so small um, for how I feel inside. My heart explodes over the Sanford care team and I, um, I owe my life to them. And I, I, I don't use that term or that phrase lightly, but I really do. They are my family now. They are my family because they are saving my life.